This is Enterprise Education at Buttershaw Business and Enterprise College in Bradford. What we're after is a black regulator and hose. Yeah? So if you haven't already got it in your hand, then the easiest way of finding it is lean to your right, put your arm out in front, bring it down, touch your knee, touch your bum, touch the bottom of your cylinder, swing round, clap hands, and you'll be there. Three. Students have taken the plunge and are running a fully functioning sub-aqua business. They take hands-on roles in the school pool and in the boardroom. Um, so now we're going to go to finance to talk about the new funding. Last year, the grant we got of £16,000 was successful. We uh, bought the kit with it and we pulled through uh, 10 qualified divers and uh, we made enough profit this year to try and bring through another 10 extra divers, that's the target for this year. Uh, we've also got another long-term target of uh, making more money and trying to attract more primary schools to come in and use the programme. Go Aqua started about a year ago when we had some tri-dive sessions. And because of the interest that the kids had and because of the fun that it was, we decided let's try and set up a business, giving the kids cheaper diving experience and they're, they're getting the real world. And also it gives us a chance to set a business up with the kids so the kids can actually run a business themselves. Low pressure inflators in your hand, air out, lay down on the bottom, nice big clear okay. It's an exciting business that doesn't need much selling to the students. The pupils that have set the business up have actually formed a board for Goaqua and they're actually in charge. That board was made up mainly of year 13 pupils. Some were taking business, some were taking other subjects and were just interested in running a business. It's a dive company but I was the only member on the board which wasn't actually involved in the diving part of it. I just got involved just purely for the business side of it. I thought it'd give me some good experiences to the world of business because I don't take any sort of business subjects. I thought it'd be a good insight. We're going to talk about the website design then now and what ideas you've all got. Obviously the most important thing is uh, contact details because people need to know who we're contacting and how to get in touch with us and obviously photos of us diving and videos of us diving as well and the facilities that we use. If anyone else has got any ideas then throw them in. Um, I think we should have like a merchandising page so when I get the merchandise together we can sell it on the website so people can buy it from there. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have um, written updates on what's going on, things like that. Probably a news page would be a good idea and also a calendar as well. The students that are on the board have encountered various yeah, skills and they will utilise those in the business world when they go outside school and they are currently doing it in school as well. So for example, um, marketing. The girls that are doing the marketing have to contact people, they have to face the public, they've got to communicate their ideas. The lads that are doing business, they have to go through spreadsheets, they have to work out the finance, they have to work out some costs, leadership skills, communication skills, leading the team, delegation, all those skills have been utilised by being on the board. As a primary school, we're going to be able to log on and book. That's what the, the aim is, really, in the long run, because that's obviously something I need to do for my project as well. So I want to try and get a booking form in there as well, so people can book online. We have a marketing department, and they've been involved in things like developing a logo. They put displays up around school. They're in charge of making sure everyone knows who Goaqua is. We've got kids that help run finance, and so we teach them how to keep books okay. and how to check your profit and loss and how to make sure your cash flow is healthy. We'll get you all that one for the, uh, the, the, the bank. <laughs> that only means you can log on, it doesn't mean you can spend the money. Right, so we need to build this uh, system to check that we know who's paid what and, yeah. and who we owes us money still. Yeah. So we're going to use a spreadsheet system for that. Okay. So base it on your IT skills from last year. What we're going to do is if we put all of the names down one side... Yeah. And whether they've returned a letter. Whether they've returned a letter. And then how much they've paid. That's it. And what we'll do is we also need dates of when they've paid. Oh, right, now okay. all these dates, because it's an accounting system, we're going to put them all weekending. Okay. And basically your job is, is you're in charge of making sure that people owe us money, pay us on time. Right. So really there's lots of different areas and pupils choose an area and, and really learn to specialise in that area. And this year we've introduced a few new roles like public liaisons officer for dealing with press and primary school liaison for bringing in local business from the primary schools and it's actually down to them really to organise that. One of the best sources of revenue for GoAqua is the area's primary schools. Today primary pupils are having a tri-dive. The management team hope that word of mouth will help with marketing. Five big feet. So who can tell me what the sign for OK is underwater? 
Yeah, easy. Nice okay in front of the face means I'm okay. How does that feel? Heavy. If you put some air in it, make you float. <laughs> in the scuba diving, they've had to learn teamwork, they're looking out for each other, and even helping with the primary school kiddies when they come in, they've had to speak to children, less ability, younger, and all those skills have got to benefit them in later life. And that's yours, if you just want to hold on to that one for me. <laughs> Because the students on GoAqua have had to deal with so many life skills, so many team building skills, so many enterprise skills, we've seen a lot of them grow. Um, for example, one of the students was petrified, really, of going in the water. She couldn't swim, but she was desperate to do scuba diving. And consequently now, she's passed her PADI certification and she's thrived on that. She's got the confidence there now and she'll just tackle anything. Two years ago I couldn't swim, now recently I've passed as a lifeguard. I didn't really think I'd be able to do it, I didn't really ever think I'd be able to even swim. So it's, it's given me a lot of confidence in myself. I think I've gained more confidence and I've gained organising skills. Um, I'd be interested in going into marketing as a career because I've enjoyed doing um, promoting the club at GoAqua and it's given me an insight to what that kind of career might be like. This year I'm going to focus on merchandise, merchandising, so like producing t-shirts and slap straps with our logo on, as well as stationery and badges, so we can take them along to events. I believe I can work better as a team now. I can come up with more creative ideas and if there's a problem, find out a solution that fits everyone. So I think I really benefited from it. And I think we all have, especially as a team, GoAqua gives pupils of Buttershaw uh, a chance to show their entrepreneurial skills. You know, stuff that even though they might be studying business studies, the course, they don't really get a chance to have a hands-on experience. So what we're trying to provide is a chance for those skills to shine and be developed before they go into the real world and maybe own their own businesses. I did the diving last year and I qualified as a paddy diver, but it's not something that really interests me as much as the business does, really. How's that? GoAq has made me focus more on what I want to do and it's made me see things that I think I'm good at like managing and organising and planning and it's given me a real confidence to know that I can do that and manage a small team of people. We got eight local primary schools in last year and we received some positive feedback so we'll carry, out, carry that on this year and we've already got two more booked in. Hopefully we're giving our students the chance to participate in um, an activity that's outside their normal daily existence and they thrive on it, they love it. Not all schools can run a sub-aqua business, but opportunities for enterprise education can be developed by any school using statutory work experience at Key Stage 4. Hi, I'm Nick, I'm from Milky Grammar School and I'm here at Bullet Point Design to do my two weeks work experience and now I'm going to go find out what I'm going to be doing. Hiya, nice Nick. Meeting. Yeah, Paul. I'm Paul, Creative Director, Bullet Point. Right, yeah, nice to go into the studio. Oh, thank you. Yeah, after you. Okay. Hi, everybody. This is uh, Nick from Ilkley Grammar. He's on uh, work experience with us, designing his own magazine. Take a seat there. Got you on the best computer for now. So we'll uh, we'll do the briefing session with you a little bit later. So I'm just going to. I didn't really know what to expect on my first day, but I didn't really kind of expect to be looking at the business side of this magazine but as well as the designing but I think it's quite important to be looking at the business side like how it's going to sell and how it's going to look on shelves but as well as the design side of it. A really successful work experience often hinges on an employer's willingness to make it as real as possible. Day one work experience at Bullet Point, we're going to give you a project to do which is to design your own magazine. To design something new and inspiring that's going to you know, leap out off the shelf and sell lots of copies. So what makes your magazine different? Why am I going to buy it? Why is it exciting? Why is it inspiring? Why am I going to really want to pick this off the shelf, yeah? So It's not just to do with the design, it's kind of to do with how you kind of sell your magazine and how much you're going to sell it for and all the business ideas behind the magazine, not just the design. Very important, last page, probably the most important thing, Every single thing we produce as a design company, whether it's a logo, a piece of stationery, a leaflet, a brochure, or a magazine, 
it has to somehow have what they call a ROI, a return on investment, an ROI, yeah? You've got to pay for it, it's got to cover the money, and there's two ways of doing that. You can either do it by sales, how many you sell, and whether you make a profit on that, or, and, the advertising. Let's say it costs us 150K to produce it. Or, don't forget, if we only sell half of them and half don't sell, what happens if it costs us 250K? Yeah? You see the problem? Yeah. We're going to be losing money, aren't we? The meeting this morning was quite good. Uh, was, uh, the number crunching was quite hard. I didn't quite expect to be doing that, but I think I did okay. I think it was quite successful, yeah. I've had my meeting with Paul this morning and now I've just uh, done some research and I've done a mind map to kind of show what like topic I was going to do for my magazine, like kind of sports and music. I'm doing it for male and female to kind of show which kind of genre of uh, magazine I was going to do. When I was looking through magazines, I was just looking at, well, different types of magazines really and just kind of comparing them just to see if I could gain anything from them and put them in my magazine. Last time we... Uh, spoke about this, you were doing, um, talking about doing a sports or a music magazine, you're doing your mind mapping and things. What ideas have you had since? Have you got anything formulated in terms of what you want to do now? Uh, since sport magazine, I was thinking of doing kind of like a classy tattoo magazine. So I, think, I think these two weeks are kind of going to prepare me for like life ahead, really, with the job it's because it kind of gets you used to uh, what's going to be, what you're going to be doing tattoos. for a job and not really just like what you're doing at school with like the hours. I mean, the times that you're doing here and the work you're doing is totally different from what you're doing at school. It's a lot more difficult, it's a lot more realistic, really. I just wanted it in size A4. Uh, uh, can I have 100,000 copies? Uh, 200 pages on each magazine. I had to call the printers to make a quote for my magazine, see if I can get it printed. So, for example, I had to give like how many pages I wanted and how many grams I wanted the pages to be and what size I wanted the paper. and. Uh, it was a bit, bit nerve-wracking, to be honest. Can tell he's a bit Nick reports on progress to his business studies teacher. So how's it to compare with school? It's a lot harder uh, than school. It's uh, very... It's weird, to be honest, because at school you're kind of told what to do and just have to read from a book and just kind of, you're kind of left to your own devices and have to find your own research. It's quite hard. Uh, well, that's what I did on the first day. That's my mind mapping thing to kind of just basically find what I was trying to... ideas for males. That's ideas for kind of backgrounds and things like that. Yeah. That was recent. Are these from magazines anyway, or from the it's internet? It's off the internet. This was a front cover that I got off the internet for research, which is American. That's my front cover that I did with a bit of a cheesy title. I called it Inked. And I thought I'd use Old English Right to give it like a classy look. And I put David Beckham's tattoo on his back on it, and I drew them on. I think this is a good work placement because you're not just really making the cups of tea and all that. You're really actually getting down to what you would be doing in a real life situation if you were actually working here. And it's very impressive, to be honest. I was I was quite shocked at, at the beginning, there, but it's it's really good. And uh, I'm just looking forward to getting my first job, really. <laughs>